most anticipated battle in the history of science. More out of this world than geocentrism versus heliocentrism, more electrifying than Tesla versus Edison, and more mind-blowing than Freud versus Jung. Today, for all age-old atomic adversaries, we'll duke it out in a war of the world for the coveted title of the most awesome subatomic particle since the dawn of time. Introducing our fighters today, in the blue corner, championed by the European Organization for Nuclear Research near Geneva, Switzerland, and weighing in at a trim and ready 938.27231 is the proton. scientists spent five decades, almost as old as this one, <laughs> trying to find. And who found it? Protons. Oh, Unlike you teeny low energy photons and electrons, energy. I'm not some simple point like particle. I have a rich inner life full of quarks and gluons. And what holds them all together? The strong nuclear force. Which, by the way, is 140 times as strong as the My Little Pony electromagnetic force provided by the electron. Unlike some of you, I can stand up for myself. If you push me, I push back. Converting energy into brand new gluons and virtual particles. And as I am the Kaiser of creativity, Higgs bosons are just the beginning. Do you need some neutrons, neutrinos, antiprotons, or rare isotopes? Just another day at the office for me. We are so impressively awesome that we can even lay the smack down on cancerous tumors. And you might think that I get tired of being so amazing. You might think that like some milk toast neutron, I'd eventually wear out, give up, and come apart. 
but I am rock solid. As far as scientists know, I will never decay. Lifetime of the universe right here. So let's summarize. Protons equal awesome. Strong nuclear force, also awesome. Basic research in medicine, double awesome. Protons don't just make stuff in the universe. We are the universe, people. like a bee, none of these particles got a thing on me. I go 186,000 miles a second. Just faster than you can go. I'm massless. In fact, your weight holds you back. I got my attosecond attitude while gravity has you subdued. I'm everywhere, I'm nowhere. There's nowhere you can go where I can't be. I am the original of particle wave duality. I'm all colors shedding light. You can't hide from me. I'll show you what the deal is. Photosynthesis and double helix. With x-rays, you can see inside. Deflect off atoms while I glide. I'm coherent. I'm transparent. Admit it. I'm the heir apparent. Fast moving fire atom, transmitting your data, telecommunication, Wi Fi, bouncing through the night sky, 13 billion miles from Voyager's eye, I fly. See me in sci fi, I crush Alderaan. And then in the real world, I grow the grass on your lawn. That's right. I come from the sun at half a hell of what? Forget about it. Your words mean not. Your matter's trash. Time to scatter fast. Which particle is best? No contest. <laughs> The Neutron! There's no disputing the superior, indeed noble, stature of the Neutron, let's be honest. I make the ultimate sacrifice in the name of science, and in the undisputed heavyweight of the subatomic world, obviously. Despite the Proton's boast of heft, I've outweighed it for 13.8 billion years, y'all. And you out there should thank your lucky stars for my excess mass. If neutrons were lighter than protons, then we would be the stable particles, and protons would decay into us. <laughs> Hydrogen would be unstable and unable to fuel the stars, which created the carbon within you. So if we didn't outweigh protons, you wouldn't even be here. Or with your diamond rings, ladies. Okay. So I did overcome a rough start. Neutrons can only about survive 15 minutes alone, so just one in seven of us survive the Big Bang. Indeed, without neutrons, everything would be hydrogen, which is the only atom that can live without us. And we do very well, thank you. <laughs> Neutron stars are made up almost exclusively of us. Why should you care? Look no farther than your golden ring. We made it, and all the heavy elements in violent neutron star collisions. Oh! That's right. <laughs> Since then, our brilliance has grown by leaps and bounds, with fancy inventions like high flux fission reactors and spallation neutron sources. Scientists can create neutron beams that help them see atoms dance and electrons spin. Yeah. Let's see. Neutrons. <laughs> neutrons find things even X-rays can't see. Sorry, not sorry, Photon. Uh -huh. We give scientists neutron vision to see water in operating field, fuel cells, oil in operating engines, and problems in your smartphone batteries that you're using to record.
toward my awesomeness right now. But the view does come at a price. Oh, here we go again. As we're detected, we suffer the indignity of turning into lowly protons and electrons. Considering this final act, ladies and gentlemen, you can't help but choose me as the most awesome subatomic. Superconductivity dance, and that was another a Nobel Prize. Hooray! A shiny lump of rock. Woo! It's so much easier to put these on over a bald head than it is. And these days, my greatest tricks occur when I get together with quadrillions of my fellow electrons. Engineers here at the Magnet Lab are already using high temperature superconductivity and powerful new magnets, and I skipped a line. In 86, in a very thin layer of copper and oxygen, we performed our superconductivity dance at higher temperatures and bagged two more a Nobel Prizes. Woo! Everybody gets a medal, And we use these superconductors to design the most powerful magnets in the world. But my greatest tricks occur when I get together with quadrillions of my fellow electrons and presto changeo, invent new collective behaviors. And these abilities do amazing things. Reason, recently we were traveling in a material so thin, the electrons only moved in two dimensions. And then when we put those electrons in a high magnetic field, like this magnet right here behind me, we electrons dance around in circles, get together with the magnetic flux quanta, and create new particles that abracadabra have only one third of the electric charge of an electron. So it's reproduced. So you get all these electrons together, and we make parts of electrons. This is the fractional quantum Hall effect. It's one of our favorite tricks, and it got us three more a Nobel Prize. Just a place in the war. And it rewrote the physics textbooks to focus on topology, which I don't understand either. And they sound familiar because it scored another Nobel Prize. Three more Nobel Prizes. Are you starting to see a pattern here? I alone, like these sorry, lonely other particles behind me, or in a dance of superconductivity, 
or with quadrillions of my friends in correlated electron behavior, do all kinds of magical tricks. We're the best magicians and the brightest inventors of all the subatomic particles and all of those cell phones that are using to record this wonderful Nobel Prize winning performance. With Use electronics. And that is no illusion. Electron out, one drop. <laughs> It's now up to you to decide which of these four worthy opponents deserves the title of the most awesome subatomic particle since the dawn of time. We will determine the winner based on your applause and cheers. So, all those who think the proton deserves to win it, let's hear it from you now.